welcome back to another thrilling episode of the Fred Everest Challenge with me, Bob Herald. Now, we left it last time after a win. And, you know, we're, we're still, I'm sorry, we drew, didn't we, against Arsenal. Got beaten by Watford, but then beat Man City 4-2 in the League Cup quarterfinal. Dominic Solanke getting a hat-trick. And then Dominic Solanke scored against Manchester United and beat them 1-0. We then thrashed Liverpool 3-1 at Anfield. Soldado with a brace and Solanke with a goal. Match we completely dominated. It was um, real unfortunate to only score three. And then since then, we've had two one, we've had two draws. One against West Ham, one against Crystal Palace. And then a defeat against Swansea where we were well and truly FM'd. So, we've got the Boxing Day clash against Leicester coming up. We're away from home. Now, there are some injuries to our two key players. Roberto Soldado is out, and so is Johnny Evans. Um, Soldado's out for, look, four to seven days. He's, um, he's on the mend. Obviously, he didn't play against Swansea, and that's the problem we have there. John Evans, though, more long term, three to five weeks left on his hip, hip injury. So, yeah, we've, um, we have struggled without him. So, put Evans there and. Right, we'll throw Carl Edwards on. There. And Jake Livermore, even though he's been whinging about first team football, upsetting the squad, he can go in. Now, we're going to put Jonathan Lecco. No, we're not. Jonathan Lecco hasn't been doing it as a striker. He's also not. We don't play wingers, so he's got no place there. So we started to train him as a shadow striker. Look, he's he's got the he's got the relevant skills. I mean, he doesn't need to work on his long shots and passing, but he's only 18 years old. Everything else, he's got bags of pace and acceleration, so he can burst into the box there. So he's playing as a shadow striker for our under 23 team. Uh, just look. I've still like to put the players in. So hopefully he can start producing. And he'll be a good asset as that shadow striker. We're also retraining Soldado as a shadow striker because I feel this Regista with no strikers is working better than anything else. So it means we can play. Um, Jacopoli and Keita in the same squad, which I am delighted about. Um, we're still giving the youngsters a run out, so Samfield usually comes on. He yeah, they fits in for the for Poli or Jakob. Um, James Orison's back from injury, but he's far from he's far from fully fit. And also Dominic Solanke has just been in fine form, so he's going through a purple patch. I'm not going to upset that. So we'll get on to the match. I don't know why I leave that box on, but some things don't change. I mean, we've got to play Rivaldo Quetzi at the back, who, yeah, he's he's made a couple of he's made a couple of mistakes. Um, again, I put it down to youth, but yeah, they've they've got to stop. Otherwise, he's not going to be a proper first teamer. So again, no opposition instructions because we've already got it. Calm. Huge underdogs here. Oh, God, I'm not sure we can do. I believe we've got what it takes, and I believe we've got what it takes. And let's get on with the match. Now we have struggled without Soldado up front, so we have to see what we can do. Solanke's leading the line though. Edwards is another of our youngsters, so I like to give the opportunities to. They're going to be more limited when Leco's more adept at that role. Because Jonathan Lecco is, is is one of the players that really does need to push on, and he's you know he's he's got a bright future ahead of him as Leicester come forward. Yeah, can Kretzi, can he do? I mean, he's so nervous every time he gets the ball. Mason Holgate now, Alexander Arnold to Edwards to Solanke. Now Edwards will use his pace to burst through the middle and. Well, it wasn't a very composed shot, but 
you know, again, Sean, I mean, we're eighth, in, we're eighth in the league. This time last season, we were in dire straits. We were 19th or 20th, and relegation looked likely. We, in all honesty, we're pushing for a place in Europe. If we can just start grinding out results against teams in the bottom of the table, we're going to be um, we're going to be good. I mean, I know Leicester are. 17th or 15th at the minute because of their um because of the point here but it's you know they're still a good squad as poli comes through but that's a tidy finish from the italian only his second of the season he doesn't score many but he's not there to score goals he's a ball winning midfielder i mean that was a good finish and as you can see claudio jacob i mean how how can they, you leave him out jacob to kieta to poli the, the three players who i speak about earlier on i mean it's it's a fantastic finish. Top corner. Nothing that Schmeichel could do about that one. And they've got a highlight straight from the kickoff. Is this going to be an instant reply thing? Hopefully not. Edwards. Or is it going to be us? No. It's back to Schmeichel. So, I mean, our waveform has been, has been okay. But it's oh, I knew they were gonna score straight away. Friggin' game. Let's have a look at this one then, if there's anything we've done. You know, Mares pulls it back to I mean, no pressure on him whatsoever. I mean that's you don't save those, I'll we'll give him that one. We'll give him that one. I do feel slightly cheated, but what are you gonna do? I sound like a Chelsea manager here, don't I? Cheated. Yeah, we're on see match of the day last night. It's it's Sunday. In case anyone's watching this on like Wednesday or something, but it's Sunday it's match of the day. Um, it's the day after Burnley have thrashed Chelsea at Stamford Bridge, and see two just fight red cards in my opinion. But we'll not get into that. I don't want to get flamed in the comments. Or do I? Right, well, lucky boys. Not going right for us so far. Do we need to make any changes? Well, I think Kyle Edwards is going to come off. We're going to throw Tyler Roberts on. Another young player needs some game time in that position. He's again, he's a, he's a striker that we're retraining as a shadow striker, and he's he's been doing all right as when he's played. So we'll give him some time. Let's see. Makes me nervous still. Tyler Roberts. So it gives you hope when this high, when this kickoff highlight lasts longer than a couple of seconds. Oh, Quetzi caught in possession again. I mean, he is absolutely useless. So much potential, but guys got nothing. That caught in possession. I mean, he's caught in possession, out of position, and. And that's an easy finish for someone of Vardy's calibre. Keita. Sander Arnold. Jakob. Claudio Jakob. That's a tidy finish for his first of the season. Alexander Arnold with the assist there. I would do want to try and bring him in a full time deal. Claudio Jakob. He's earning his 65k. Again, playing as a register. So. Opportunity to get forward and score goals is going to be limited, but you know, if, he's, if he's producing that once in a while, I'll be happy. Quetzi is going to have to come off, I think, with the Livermore at some point there. Robert Solanke, Keita just can't get out of his foot onto the ball. Now we need to get back into position, stop Leicester coming forward. And he's drowned out. Now we can take it forward again, Solanke. Oh, Goodness gracious me. Another goal that we've absolutely gifted them because we've been caught in possession. Let's have a look at this again. See, oh. I mean, Mara's left in acres of space. 3 2. Right, substitution time. Bring on the incredible whinge for. 
him because he has been absolutely dire once more. And I'm just thinking Nessa Chadley for Dominic Solanke. Yeah, we're going to do it. Solanke's not done anything in this match. So throw him on. Nessa Chadley. Chance has been limited. Might look to move him on in the transfer window. Can get a decent price for him. No, Tyler Roberts caught in possession. Oh. And they're going to burst forward again now. Uh, they're not. So good coverage there. But it's Keita to Chadley, who's just come on. Could have scored with his first touch of the ball. It's Chadley with the corner. Well, well taken by Schmeichel. Have I, um, have I put my corner routines on? I know I did it for my first tactic, but this is a... Right, let's see if we can push forward. If we're going to lose 3-2, may as well lose 4-2. We'll get to Poli. It's Alexander-Arnold. We're still on counter at the minute. Cocagnoli. Poli. Jakob. Alexander-Arnold. Chadley. Oh, just pull it across, man! <sighs> Tyler Roberts. I mean, we're applying the pressure here, and again, keep just cleans it. And we're going to fall to a defeat here. Yeah, defeat. The game we should never have lost. Never, ever, in a million years, we really lost. Gave everything they had. You know what, we're on lucky out there. So let's look at more possession, more shots, more shots on target. 12 shots on target, we can only score two goals. Absolutely frightening. And one of those is a shot from outside the area. And it leaves us in ninth place now. Leicester City move up to 13th. I mean, it's, it's not a disastrous result, but again, we've lost another match that we've dominated. We're, we're struggling without Soldado, goal scoring threat up front. Solanke and Soldado have been assisting each other, they've been working as a nice nice partnership and it, it shows where one of them's missing. So 3-2, let's have a look what the reports say. Krusak Wesley, Baggy's made to miss Rue, made to miss, I yeah, can't read now, Baggy's made to Rue miss chances. Sick of seeing that headline recently. Polo's been on form. Let's let's praise his form there because he was absolutely fantastic. Appreciate that. Hopefully that'll give him some um, some decent morale. So yeah, what is he? I mean, he is. He's a quality player. Let's get a proper scout report on him. That looked to um, steal him away at some point. Unless they go down and we're in Europe. <laughs> Not in that performance. So that's it for that for that game. Um So we'll we'll come back. I mean we're, we're gonna pour on a form now. Um next match we'll come back, it'll be the first leg of the League Cup semi final against Manchester United. We're at home. So hopefully we can get a first leg win to take back to Old Trafford. So we'll play that one. Depend, um, we'll, we'll definitely play the second leg as well, we'll it's live com and we'll go from there. So until next time, I've been Bomber Herald, if you do like what I'm doing, please like, share and subscribe. As always, drop me some comments in the comment section, any feedback, good or bad, I don't mind. You know, um, again, I don't, I don't mind changing what I do, if you, if you think one game's not enough, if you think we should do two like other people do, then let me know, I can edit it down to make the videos a bit shorter, but obviously I'm, I'm conscious I don't want to do 20 minute videos every single time. So, 
I'd say I've rambled on a bit longer than I intended to, so until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, <laughs>